Hey everyone, Anthony here. Today I have a pretty fun little tech review and that is of the Movo iVlog smartphone kit. Movo reached out and sent me this kit for free, but they aren't paying me otherwise, so I can pretty much say whatever I want and that's what I'm going to do. But first, some context on me. I am currently a film student. I make YouTube videos, though not as much as I used to, and I'm also starting to get more into freelance work. So basically, I live and breathe filmmaking and movies, and you wouldn't really think that a smartphone vlogging kit would be of much use to me, but this kit has actually been super handy, both for me and my friends. Okay, so let's start with an overview of the kit. Um, basically what it is, is a collection of gear for filming with your smartphone. There's a really solid selection of stuff in here. We've got a mini tripod, this extension pole that's basically a selfie stick, a remote shutter release button, a microphone, and a small LED light. There's also a wide angle lens that can clip over your phone's camera, not something that's really useful to me because I already have a phone with a wide angle lens, but if you have a single lens model, then it's actually really helpful. Everything is stored in this nice hard shell case with foam cutouts for everything. So as a result, it stays pretty organized and protected. Now, the case is pretty sizable, which would probably make it difficult to throw into a camera backpack, but in all honesty, it probably will have everything you need anyway. So that's the basic overview of the kit, and now I'm going to review the individual pieces of gear inside it. I'm going to start with what I've personally found to be the most helpful, and that is this mini LED light. It charges with a USB-C cable and it has adjustable brightness levels on the back. I've actually used this more with my camera than I have with my phone, uh, just because there's a little hot shoe mount on the bottom that you can slide onto the top. It was great as a fill light for these fake news reports that I did for my school. And I also used it pretty extensively when I was the behind the scenes videographer for a set that took place at night. Again, super, super useful little guy. And there are even three hot shoe mounts on the side where you can slide in a microphone phone or any other accessories, um, just a really, really well thought out little light. Anyway, speaking of the microphone, let's move on to that. And this is actually going to be the only negative section of my review. Here's the thing, I really wanted to like this microphone. It's the VXR10 Pro, and if Pro is in the name, that obviously means it has to be good. It's small, it's compact, it feels high quality. There's even a little headphone jack on here that you could use to monitor the audio. I genuinely thought that it would be a good replacement for my Rode Video Micro, which I've been using for the past three years. But unfortunately, I just haven't been able to get this to work. There was one time when I plugged it into my camera and recorded an entire video with it and then literally no audio came out just dead silence and that was obviously hours of effort wasted and yeah that's frustrating but i'm going to also be nice here and give movo the benefit of the doubt obviously i don't think they want to send out broken microphones to people it is totally possible that this is just a fluke and it was dead on arrival or that I'm just an idiot and I'm missing something obvious and I don't know how to use it properly. Uh, both are a possibility. But moving on, we have this tripod and then here's the selfie stick thingy as well as a little mount for the phone. There's not a whole lot to say about these. I mean, their function is pretty self-explanatory. The tripod I actually really like. It's really high quality. It's not made of plastic, it's made of metal. Um, it has three legs just like a tripod should points there. And you obviously don't have to use this only for your phone or a camera. You can also use it for lights or other pieces of gear. Just another helpful addition to the kit. The full setup when put together just screams YouTuber vibes. So we used it as a prop in a short film about a YouTuber. Uh, so that was pretty fun. Price wise, this kit sells for $130 on Amazon. That is one of my favorite price points. Most of the like inexpensive gear that I buy tends to cost that much. And considering everything is pretty high quality and also useful as I've demonstrated, this is a really solid investment because you'll be able to continue using it even after you've upgraded from your smartphone to an actual camera. So yeah, highly recommended. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more filmmaking content. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.